Hello and welcome back to Nora's Kitchen. Where have you been? I almost feel like when the Maccabees drove the Greek Syrians away, we are here back out of lockdown and we are coming together to celebrate Hanukkah, the beautiful eight day festival that makes us eat lots of oily deep fried food. Who couldn't love that? We have a potato latke recipe as well, so check out the recipe for that. But tonight we are doing a Sephardi, I, I want to say Sephardiot, but it's called a Leviviot, and it's basically a small deep fried dumpling, for want of another word. It's so simple and so easy. Like, who wants to make a donut? It scares me already thinking about it. But these things, I promise you, are going to be amazing. So, get your recipe ready from the website. As I always tell you, have all your measurements already done in your bowl so you can just go bang, bang, bang into the bowl. We are going to make a beautiful syrup laden piece of yumminess. So here we go. Be fast. So what we've got is the dry ingredients. Flour. Oh, is the flour. Salt and baking soda. And you just basically mix that together with a fork. Don't know why they specify a fork, but they do specify a fork. Who are they? The powers that be. So that's what we're doing, mixing all that together. And then in a separate bowl, your cup of milk and your egg, and you beat them together until they're combined. Now, something is bubbling behind me, and what's bubbling behind me is actually the syrup that we're going to pour over these little bundles of yumminess. And that syrup literally is water, sugar, and definitely orange blossom syrup or rose water, whatever you can get. But the point is, years ago, you'd have to go to a speciality store to get this stuff. Now you can actually get them in your normal, you know, big shopping place. We can't say the name, it begins with C and another one begins with W. But you can get orange blossom water or rose water. What you're doing is flavoring a syrup. That takes about 15 minutes for the sugar and water to kind of boil down to a syrup and then you add in the flavor. So that's what I'm doing here. Michelle is timing it for me. So that's in the pot. So start the syrup before you start your recipe for the beautiful little leviviot. I can't even say it half the time, but you know what? We'll just call it a beautiful little dumpling of something. Combine your milk and egg quite well, and then add it in to your flour mix. Because basically what you're making here is a batter, because that's what these are, they're little balls of batter. We wouldn't call them that because it's not celebratory enough. They're just little balls of yumminess. Now, when we think about Hanukkah, we think about the dreidels, and the Hanukkah gelt for the kids, and all of those other things. And I encourage you to listen to your rabbi if you need to know anything else about that. All I'm doing tonight is telling you how to make these little balls of yumminess. So we've got our beautiful batter. It looks a bit tight, so I'm like, Michelle, my trusty sidekick is gonna get me a little bit more milk just to loosen it up. Um, because you don't want it too thick because it'll be too heavy when they hit the pan. Um, I just need to keep an eye on this syrup, which is coming along quite nicely. I wish you could see this, you can't see it. Just a tiny drop, thanks Michelle. Michelle's amazing, she's very camera shy though, very camera shy. None of come on, even though she is the better half of me when it comes to Nora's kitchen. She's the one that gives me all those crazy South African tips about what I should be doing. You will see in the Latka presentation that she likes hers with cinnamon sugar. Don't judge her. It is a bit weird, but we'll live with it. So that's coming together rather nicely. And it is. All it is is a batter, people. Don't be scared. So as my sugar syrup's heating, I'm going to pop the oil on the pan. Now, you need like a full bottle of oil in the pan for this. Well, it is Hanukkah and that's how we celebrate it. It is the Festival of Lights. We're celebrating the rededication of the Holy Temple and the fact that one day's oil lasted 
basically eight days. So hopefully, if I don't burn the oil, or burn the beautiful little Le Vivillot that we're making, it all should be good. That's come together quite nicely. Now, as always, you test your oil first before you go crazy and start dumping these things in. This is the easy, uh, apart from the honey cake recipe that we did for the high holidays, I think this is the second easiest recipe I've ever done in my life. I say that without actually trying to fry one of them. You literally need a tablespoon, which I have. There's no shaping of these things. You drop the batter into the oil when it's hot enough, and whatever shape they come out as, that's what you get. You get what you get, but you don't get upset, as I always tell my kids. So this will be a bit of a learning lesson for me. I'm gonna just drop, like I'm talking, a nail-sized piece of batter into the pan, just to see when it's ready. Ooh, that syrup, actually, now that it's been going for quite a while, is coming down really quite beautifully. So I know I'm kind of double dipping here but I will come back to syrup in a second. It gets quite sticky, so don't let it over-reduce, because if you let it over-reduce, then it literally will turn to toffee, and you don't want toffee on top of your yummy balls of yumminess. Okay, so I'm gonna test the oil by dropping in a little bit of batter. Definitely not ready yet. Don't put them in too early, because you will get a soggy sponge <laughs> in your pan. So now that we've cooked our beautiful dumplings of love, now we're going to put them in a beautiful bowl. People, a bit of advice. You've got to keep your eyes on that sugar syrup because I didn't for a second and it turned into like toffee, right? So I've followed my own instructions, I've done it again, and I've added in our orange blossom water. It smells amazing, by the way. I'm, I'm sorry I have to turn around all the time, um, but that's what happens when you're in an industrial kitchen and that's there and I'm here. So you'll know your syrup is ready when it sticks to the back of your spoon. It's definitely sticking to the back of my spoon. So we'll stir it around, and once they're in situ, in whatever beautiful bowl you want to do, you just pour it over. I can't tell you how proud I am. I'm very proud of me, Michelle. I'm proud of Nora's Kitchen because this has become not only something that I learn a lot from just by researching the recipes, but just for you guys. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to make weird shaped dinosaur dumplings because that's what they kind of look like. They Most of them look like dinosaurs, but whatever it is, they're tasty and yummy. I wish you all a beautiful hug, Hanukkah Sameo. From my heart to yours, from Michelle and me to you, have a beautiful Hanukkah, people. We'll be back with more recipes. Stay tuned. Good night.